Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I push through each season and complete all of the objectives in under 5 hours. If this is your first character, the majority of this video will not apply to you as a large portion of these speedruns relies heavily on having already completed the main story quest. Uh, if this isn't your first character though and your goal is to level to 61 or higher and take full advantage of the season servers, I explain a little bit of it how to do so at the end of the video but if you're looking for a more in-depth guide on how to do that i recommend checking out evil do us harms uh, leveling guide he has a leveling guide for 6261 and it is via questing so you will have to do the changa tone quest first uh this is gonna be a long one there's gonna be some minor editing to cut out some of the unsavory stuff uh there's also some breaks that i'm gonna cut out along the way but for the majority of it, we're going to go over all four and a half hours of the season with you. So, grab a drink, uh, load up some BDO, create your season character, and let's go, because it's going to be a long one. Okay, now I'm going to press play, and that is the start of our journey. I'm going to grab gear from Velia. That's this. Um, this. My gloves. I already got gloves. I need boots. I already got boots. I need a helmet. Where's my helmet? Where's my helmet? 52. One of those. Two of these. Two of these. The belt. And the necklace. Where's the necklace? Necklace. Okay. And then the weapons will just come later. I'm going to grab that out. Equip all these. And then we need to grab, here it is, okay. Um, it doesn't really matter what we do, I guess. We'll just do magic accuracy. All we care about is the combat XP that we get from this. And then we need to grab the scrolls from Portiferia. Need to grab... Um, we can grab this and these six, and then we need to grab the 300s. Where are the 300s? Are those in here? They are. Okay. That's all we need. Okay. So we'll simple alchemy these real quick. Get two more of the 600 scrolls. Okay. And that's it. Now we can speed through this. And then go over here. And hopefully we don't run into the same issue that we ran into last time with the fucking red nose being stupid and eating into our time. We wasted like a good five minutes, five, ten minutes doing that shit. And then after we talk to this guy, we're going to skip. It's going to play a cinematic, but we're going to press and hold R. Skip through it, and then that doesn't matter. We're just gonna back out and then grab that. Get out of this, thank you. It also helps that like now, every all of your skills are automatically learned so you don't have to waste a bunch of time doing that. Which is real nice, real nice. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? <laughs> we forgot to put our fucking horse away, so now we don't have a horse. What did I just grab? I don't know what the fuck I just grabbed, but whatever. Man, where's our speed boost? Let's go. Get back out of this. Finish that, talk to the block, wait, step. wait for a second, get out of that, talk to this dude, spam, 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 press and hold R, skip, fuck all that running, okay, get out of this, oh, we gotta talk to this fuck face first, fuck, I done skipped ahead one, not you. 
Okay, now we go over there. What was that? Can I get out? Thanks. Now we go over here. Now we level up a bunch. Don't really know what skills I have access to right this second, but... We're gonna use what we can. Get out of here. And then there's an NPC over... what? Oh, we've got to grab the quest. I'm stupid. It's over here. Now we got speed boost. Jumpy jumpy. I'm saved. I just Okay. I'm gonna kill this shit. Yeah, she levels up pretty quick. We can just do this too. It makes a lot of things easier. Because <laughs> she fucking just one hits everything. Forever. She's probably the easiest one to do seasons with because of how fast she kills everything and how little she relies on weapons. Okay, and then we go over here and talk to this dude our weapon away so we can run this is the west and yet spam me spam me spam me spam me spam okay and then we talk to you again it seems not you one day I... don't worry. why don't you go for... all right and then we speed over here talk to this dude this one we just go in, we like when we talk to him, we just click on skills. Right? So we click on him and then click skills. And that's it. And then this dude will pop up. Hello. Hello, I already did. Oh I gotta talk to him first. And then this guy talk. And then grab the next one. And then we're gonna grab the black spirit quest. Like when it asks us which one we want to pick, we're just going to pick the Black Spirit one. Why? Because we've done the other one more. So we're going to try to even it out a little bit. Um, Black Spirit. And then we talk to this dude. Now we pick Black Spirit. See, we have five and four, so we're just going to even those out. It does not matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, hello? Oh, I gotta talk to this fucker first. And then I can talk to him. Then... Now I can talk to him. We are You've been <clears throat> okay. Now we go over here. Kill some bitches. Go out here and kill some more bitches. Or not. What? Oh, I thought it was immediately back out. I got confused, I guess. Hello. Can we talk? Thanks. Talk to this guy. Then talk to this chest. 
because that's what we do. We talk to inanimate objects in this game. Black spirit. Back over here and talk to this bitch. Now we kill more bitches. Done with that. We're going to auto path to this next one so I can equip these. Except apparently you can't auto path and equip shit at the same time. That's cool. Auto run. We are going to run manually to this guy. Talk, 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 talk. And by talk, I mean R spam. And then we're going to do this one here because all we have to do with this one is kill the, the little carts. Okay, and then we can just talk to this dude over here. Yes, I know. Talk to more inanimate objects. And we got here and talk to this guy. And then he's going to give us a little potion to drink. Okay, just kneel, that's fine. Okay, red nose. Drink the potion. Talk to him again. And then talk to this motherfucker. I used already, cool. I'm gonna talk to the footprint. Oh, didn't see that. And then go talk to the block, and this is the part where it fucked up last time, so hopefully it doesn't this time. It's Red Nose's hideout. Oh, you know what? Never mind. It's not gonna fuck up, because the reason it fucked up before was because I was in a party. And I didn't realize it. And then here he is. We're going to move in two seconds. Move, move. Oh, you did that it's way too far, stupid. He's gonna transform here in a second. There he goes. Little mini cutscene. That you can't skip, by the way. So we're just at the mercy of this bullshit.
Oopsie, I got caught. That's the longest part of this whole quest line. Talk to this person. If you would just it's true. Talk to this person. That's sweet. There's a code that takes care of. And then we go talk to this person down here. And then we will be at our skipping point. Let's equip that. Jumpy jump. Another cutscene we can't skip is coming up. Just a waste of fucking time. <laughs> Who dat? Oh. What'd she say? So she won't be here? Alright, let me go down here and talk to this dude. He will teleport us over to Alliston. This we can skip, thankfully. And then here's Alliston. We turn this in, back out, and then we're going to click on Simplified. Boom. And then we're going to run over to the Fugar. It was over here by the stables. Uh, and then I think we're going to go ahead and steal my other character's horse. Because it is what it is. Let me just spam through his quest line, get our gear. And then that's it. And we're going to un... we're going to open... nope, we're just going to equip uh, this weapon. And then through the quest line we'll get the secondary and sub weapon sorry and the uh, awakening weapon later um, but this stuff we don't need to fuck with until we have been able to upgrade it some oh that's a good idea let's make sure our potion is set to always use and then we are going to swap over and grab our horse from my other megu <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Uh, and then actually we're going to pause this here because I got to go put the food in the crock pot and then I will be right back. So give me just a few minutes to do that. All right. Let's press this play button. Let me put this over here so it's like visible. All right. So right now we're just going to give my character the horse that I'm using on this one. Because, uh, because, uh, because, because. It'll make things easier. And quicker. So I'm probably, this is like a side note, but I'm probably going to put this up on YouTube. And be like, this is how to complete the season in under six hours. I think it would be helpful for people to, like, see that, I guess. Alright, let me swap back over to the new one. You have horses and donkeys. Alright. <clears throat> so now all we have to do is go level, right? So we got all that shit done. Why do you have a question or exclamation point on your head? Okay, so it's stacked to two. So now we have two. We're going to hang on to them, though, because apparently they have some stuff in the works that they're going to be giving us some better stuff. I don't know. We'll see. So now we're going to head down to Heidel. And the reason we're going to Heidel is because we want to go to the Desert Fogans to level. That is where we're going to start our leveling process.
So if we now we're in Heidel, we look at our map. Desert Fogans or, or Swamp Fogans. Why is Desert Fogans? Swamp Fogans are going to be right here. So the plan is we're going to start here. We're going to hit a pretty decent level here, probably 30-something. And then we're going to head straight over here to Marnie's Lab. And then we're going to hit 50-ish, 50 52, something like that here. And then we're going to go all the way back over here to Salsons at around 50 to 52. And then we're going to fit 56 here. And that's pretty much how you get to 56 quickly, for me anyway. I mean, it works out well for me. So we're going to park right around this area here. <clears throat> okay. Um, we don't have our Pegasus on this character, which is kind of unfortunate because that does help us bypass a lot of the terrain time but not everybody has a pegasus so we're going to show this as if we don't have a pegasus so we're going to leave that there and then we're just going to get an idea of what we're looking at okay damage wise it's fine so this is the part where we want to go ahead and start activating our items all three of these but we also want to grab some simple cron meal um i'll just take it from the warehouse oh shit not one stupid we probably need about three so i'm gonna i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab all of them because why not because why not and then we're gonna pop that one and you know what I'm going to go ahead and grab some beast droughts as well. Because they're cheap and because they'll add a little bit more XP. And then we'll just activate all of those and go. We're going to level pretty quick. It is going to interrupt a lot of stuff. The trick is to just leave that window up and it will help minimize the amount of interruption you get from leveling. Now this part will take <clears throat> longer on most occasions. The reason why it's going so fast now is because the server has a 500% XP bonus right now. So don't like accept or expect it to go as quickly. It will still go quickly. Oh, God dang it. It will still go quickly, just not as quickly. Okay, so leave that window up. I'm actually curious just how high we can get before it starts feeling bad. There was a bunch more mobs. I don't know where everything is. Yeah. 
32 now. <clears throat> Still feels fine. Doesn't feel too slow yet. Now, alternatively, you could go to Bloody Monastery and do this. I just... I... I don't know that I prefer this place. I just... It's not as far away. So I guess that's kind of one of the reasons why I stay here. Let me put my microphone right, like, in front of my face so you can hear me better. Okay, 36, or 34, where are I get 36 from? I don't know. I kind of want to be five levels at least behind, and not... What am I now? Eight? Seven? Something like that. I'd rather be five, so that would be... I think it's 42 over there? Am I wrong? Is it 40 or 42? It's 40! Oh. Okay, so next level, we'll go ahead and run over there. So 35 is our target for this area. And again, it still doesn't feel bad. It still feels fine here. Um, but going over there will dramatically increase the speed of which we level. Okay, so we're 35 now, so we'll go ahead and dip out. And then... We'll do these. Okay, and now we need a plus three armor and weapon. So we'll go grab that real quick, make that happen. Armor, we just need plus three. Okay, and then it said main hand weapon. So I assume that's what we have to do. We'll plus three that. And we're only doing what's required because um, we kind of want to save some of this stuff for when we get a sub-weapon too. Okay, next is going to be 40, 45, and then plus 15. Um, we'll go ahead and just plus 15 this now. <laughs> Not so worried about the armor. Uh, uh. What the fuck was that? Okay. So we'll get we'll have that completed. And then we'll go ahead and just punch this to 15. Remember, our goal is to complete the season pass. Our goal is not to level to 61 or 2 or whatever. So getting this stuff done is more important than leveling right now. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? It's plus three. It's plus 15 or higher, so who cares? All right. We're going to run over to Marnie's lab. And the way I get to here is I don't I don't click here. All right. I click somewhere on this hump, this little uh, this little uh, mountain here. Because if you click this, it's going to take you uh, like underneath of the mountain. You want to go on on the mountain here. So you click on the mountain then it takes you to the mountain and not underneath the mountain. <clears throat> uh, let's just follow the road. Screw it.
Oh, there goes my headset dying. <clears throat> so this road right here is the one we want to take. And then we just want to get off our horses like right around this area. You could go a little further, but I don't want to take any chances. And then these are the little dudes that we kill here. Oh, keep closing that window out. Yeah, we're gonna just wait on that for now. Get to 45 first. That was a really awkward position to be in. As you can see, it doesn't always work for some reason. Just constantly getting stopped in the middle of your animation. See, like that. Usually these are back up by the time you get back here, but we are going a little fast, so to wait and we'll just come back and grab them next one. And clearly, if you have someone that can power level you, all of this is kind of pointless. But this is to kind of just show how you can do it by yourself. Having someone power level you is always going to be faster. Okay, all this is back up, so we'll kind of just gather them all around. This is like the biggest chunk of XP in this area. Okay, we fit, we fit, we fit, we fit, we fit 45 now, so that's good. We can do this. Grab that, grab this, grab that. Grab this, and now next goal is 50. Um, and again, at 49, we gotta make sure we do our um, quest to get to 50, or to allow us to get to 50, I should say. Yeah. 
Seven. Forty eight. Very close to forty nine. There's forty nine. We'll talk to Black Spirit. Get our Take me to 50 quest, use the mirror in your inventory, and then complete it. Grab chapter 1, complete it. You're going to grab all these inventory slots, and then chapter 2, complete it. Inventory slots. Chapter 3, complete it. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't care. We'll take that one. Crab. Chapter 4. I don't think we're done with 4. Oh, we are done with 4. Oops. Crab. Chapter 5. Complete it. Apparently we were completed a lot of these chapters already. Okay, that's it for that. And then we're going to use these since we have our um, buffs up already. Something's hitting me. You're hitting me. Stop that. Alright, and next in our list is 50 and then pin our weapon, pin armor. Okay. Um, so we can do that here in just a minute. Once we hit 50, we'll do that. Did she just bring a raw egg out here and ask for it? Oh, an orange. It looks like a damn egg. Okay, there's 50, and that is where we leave this place and head up to Salsons.
And we have 41 minutes left on our scrolls. You're weird. We can just grab these guys back on the way back. A little bit more XP doesn't only, it doesn't hurt. two up. Okay, don't convert. Do not convert, because you need to equip it. And then we'll do the same with this weapon. Come on now. Really? Oh, you shithead. Okay. So now we equip those. Boom. And boom. So we've completed those. Now we need to convert. So now we can convert. I don't know why I went back into this menu. Don't judge me. We'll convert the chess piece. And convert the weapon. Okay, and then equip and equip. That gives us these two. And next is gonna be 51 through 55. And then we need to make sure that we duo our armor and our weapon by then. Um, but since we've got a bit of stones left over, we're going to go ahead and enhance our sub weapon. As high as it'll let us go before we run out of stones. Stick that over there. Okay. 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 What in the world is wrong with this goddamn weapon? It's just wasting my shit. Golly. Okay. Now we got our second weapon. Uh, and then, as you can see, this is one DP less. Everything is going to be just slightly better. Uh, except for the gloves, for some reason. The gloves are always better. I think it's gloves. It might be, it might be boots. One of them is always better as the quest item. I don't know why. It just is. Really? Is this just going to be every other one the whole time? <laughs> oh my. Oh my. We're just going to raw tap it. Boom. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Raw? 
We can, oh my god. Bruh. Are you fucking kidding me? That's unfucking real, dude. Unreal. Unfucking believable. I'm not using that. God damn, I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, see, the gloves are. The gloves are still slightly better for whatever reason. But we'll go ahead and slam the boots, and hopefully we have enough fucking black stones. That was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Not only that, but it was also a waste of time. Every other one, except for that one, was minus two. That one went pretty all right. That one was pretty good. I'll take that one. Okay, good enough. Now we go over to Salsons. We're gonna stop right around here. And then there's a little cubby that we hide in over there. Park our horse. We got 34 minutes left. Yikes, that's a little low on the time. Um, we're going to turn this off until we get there so we don't waste elixirs for no reason. The beast routes are cheap, but still no sense in wasting them. <laughs> and to save some time, we're not going to auto path. We're just going to straight up run. Now, obviously, things like this I'll probably just cut out of the video. Because no one wants to sit here and watch me run all the way to fucking Towson's. <laughs> so, you know. Just fast forward until we're there. Now we just turn up in here, and there's a spot right here in the corner. We just, okay, not do that. 
Just jump, 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 jumpity, jump, jump. Okay, boom. And now I am going to grab my tent out. And if you don't have a tent, that's okay. Just grab this on the way. But you want to grab some health potions because these guys can get a little dicey. Just a little dicey. So we're going to grab like 50 of these, 50 of those. And then, okay, that's enough of that. We can stick that down here in our number one spot. And then what I like to do is I like to go up to this spot here and then just like see just how easy it is and it's very easy so and then I go all the way to the back here and then I rotate between this camp here and then this middle one here and then I go over to this big old section here and that's that's all I do. As you can see sometimes they bug out and like heal as I'm attacking them. I don't understand what that's about, but it happens sometimes. I don't get it. All right, we've got 30 minutes to get to That's not what I wanted. We have 30 minutes to get to 56 to make sure we are good on time. We should be fine. Each of these should only take four or five minutes a piece for levels. So at most, we should be looking at around 20 minutes. Once these guys are dead, this middle should be pretty much respawned. It looks alright. We are killing quite fast, so I do expect some lag between pulls. Kind of bunch these up over here and get all of them. I got done ran away. As you can see, it's going rather fast. Even faster than my Zerker last. Last round. Oh goodness, can I just get through this? I, Yuna, I don't know when you said that. Yuna said hi. Did I? Oh, okay. Oh, Amy says hi. I don't even know if she's still here, to be honest. do our succession and awakening. Okay. 
I don't know what's up with these guys healing. It's so fucking annoying. You know what? Totally forgot about this book of combat. All right, 56% and to 55, almost, almost there. Um, I'm going to turn this off because I'm pretty sure we're going to have it within the next eight minutes. No space left in your inventory. things for sure we can get rid of these nor accessories they mean nothing to me So after this, we will go do our Succession and Awakening quest. Those are probably going to take a lot longer than the Berserker quest does. And of course, it's going to vary between each class just how long it takes. But Musa and Megu have kind of an annoying Succession Awakened because there's a lot of cutscenes and shit. And I don't know if you can skip them anymore, but maybe you can, and that will help some. And we are 56. Good deal. And just under, or just at an hour. Exactly an hour. So that's pretty good. Cool. All right. Now, let's get on up out of here, and we'll go do our Succession Awaken quests.
And before we do that, we're once we get to the horse, we are gonna go and talk to the Black Spirit a crap ton of times to get some of our uh, inventory expansion stuff. Usually, there's a crab that kind of messes with you. I don't see him, so I think we're okay. Grab the succession quest. Scroll through all of these inventory expansion coupon quests. Got three more. Okay, and we can talk to him about chapter six. And then we can grab these two inventory expansion quests. And we talk to him about seven. And then chapter eight. Chapter nine. Okay, we are on chapter nine. Okay, and then we can finish this up. Oh, we gotta get... No, we're done. We're done with that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, Tavala weapon to duo, Tavala armor to duo. Okay, easy enough, except we have no inventory right now. Let's do this. Alright, and we don't have any of the resplendents. Armor reform soon, so we'll just have to do this the old fashioned way. Which is not like it's it's not like it's difficult, but you know. Um so we're gonna throw in a 30 stack. And that should go okay. Really? Fucking annoying. That was the wrong thing anyway. What am I doing? <laughs> Stupid. Okay. And then I don't know why I took my gloves off. And I did take my weapon off. I already had my gloves off. Okay, that's right. Do the weapon. Throw another 30 stack in there. Cool. So that completes that section, and this section, and this section. So now we need Awakening, and then to start working on our accessories. Uh, let's see. So we can get rid of all of this. We want to keep that, and keep that. We can get rid of that. Okay, discard. Yes. Alright, and then... Uh, let's equip that and that. And we're still one DP away from my gloves being better. So, that's fine. We are going to run down here and get the Succession Awaken quest done. Oh, that's right. We got to swing around and take this other road. Okay, so let's talk to this person. What we need to 
protectors not only Tarith, the ones who desire. And then they will send us over to this guy, and actually we can sell here, which is good. So all that crap. Talk to them. Talk to them again. Either way, it requires delicacy. Take the next quest. And talk to this person all the way around here in this building. Come on now. And talk to the doggy. Talk to the doggy. Thank you. Hey, why are you in here? Well, it gives me an opportunity to show you a neat trick. If you ever get into a building with your horse that you can't get out of like this, just run into the doorway and then hit R. And the horse will go out. And then you can just get on it. It's a neat little trick. Alright, so now we have to go up here to Elric Shrine and kill some guys. So we'll be there in just a few seconds. was a guildy. Oops. Okay, let's let's stop this. All right, so normally we'll just go over here and park behind this building since nothing really bothers you over here. We'll stick the horsey there, and then okay, freaking weirdo. That's it for that. Let's call our horse from here. And then we'll head over to this amassed profane energy. Let's we'll take this over to this person up top of this castle thing. Hello, Neriku. How's it going? Okay. Get out of my way, please. Thanks. What the heck that was? So right now we are just we are speeding through the season for the second time uh, and we're kind of doing a little video um, to help newer players to figure out how to get it done quickly um, not really utilizing anything that no one 
that's new wouldn't already have. Uh, anybody that's new within the last couple of months has a dream horse, so obviously that's not, I'm not like over utilizing things. Um, our last run was five hours and 40 minutes, I think, from start to finish the season. So we're going to see if we can get it done a bit faster this time. It is a lot easier than it was before. Not easier, just simpler. Like, not simpler. I don't know. I don't know the fuck word I'm trying to say, I guess. Um, less involved is is really where I'm going with that. It, there's not as much um, required for the season pass as there was before. So that lessens the amount of time it takes to, to get it done by quite a bit, actually. Uh, we're going to let our horse stay right here and just get beat on for a little bit while we get this done. Okay, just a really immune guy, apparently. I just come over here in this spot. And that completes that. Okay. You want some of this? <laughs> Oof. Alright, and then one more after this. Gotta go kill stuff at Shira. Can we please with these... These headstones, man. Alright, so we're going to head over to Shira Ruins to finish this last part of this quest. And that shouldn't take too long, because there's quite a dense pack of mobs in Shira to make things easier. And quicker. The downside is getting there takes a couple minutes. Yikes. So, I'm not quite sure where this is taking me, but we want to go to the node manager because it's the safest place to park. Just park right here off to the side. That's generally pretty safe. And then we'll just head out and mess up some dudes.
All right, that's it. We'll just go back to our horsey. Actually, the guy that turned in is right next to the horse, too, so... That's pretty all right. Okay, now we need to go up to this M where this, uh, this final NPC for this succession quest is going to be. And this is because it's a Megu and it was a release during a season. Uh, the succession quest is going to be first, but generally, if it's an older class or one that wasn't released during season, typically the awakening quest is first. So keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to leave our horse over here. Okay, of course the horse comes over here anyway. Alright, so... Um... I guess we got to kill her first. Can't skip this part of the story, which is unfortunate. This is what I meant by these cutscenes cutting into our time. And there ain't a damn thing I can do about it. She has the power of the nine tail fox. Or the two tail fox, or whatever it is. Alright, so. Oh, we can't open that till 57. Um, let's go ahead and activate all of our primes. And absolutes that can't be primes. Didn't even put any of these in. That was my fault. Okay. And then we need to talk to Black Spirit to grab the Awakening. Grab this. Um, yep. Okay. And then we'll do this. And then we will go back in here and save this to number one. And we do that because we are we are generally a succession Megu player. Or uh, sorry, awakened Megu player. So we are gonna make sure that we can swap back if we need to. Alright, now we gotta head all the way. Where are we going? All the way back over to Tariff. So, we'll be there in just a second.
So that quest took about 15 minutes. You see that shit? My horse is half dead because I... Because I've, like, tripped or something. The fuck, man. So dumb. Um... Oh, there it is. That's so stupid. I'm glad it'll be in the VOD, though, so I can maybe clip it and send a PA and be like, what the fuck is this shit, man? Can you fix this? Yeah, you see that? I just took a shit ton of fucking... Well, maybe not so much that time. I don't really know where his health was, but I'm pretty sure it was higher than that. Just these tiny little falls and the fucking hurts so bad. The horse... I gotta fix myself. Oh. Oh, I gotta get off the horse to fight this chick. Oh, we can skip this shit. Shoot her, shoot her to lose your memory. Ah, right. Okay, now we gotta go to ha Hasra Ruins, the ancient ruins over here. And like, climb all the way down to the bottom and open up this door and all this other stuff, so.
Who is this? I'm the valuator? Or the- oh no, the... The band is called Vibrant. Oh no, the song is vibrant. The band is definitely Time the Valuator. I'm gonna follow them. I like it. The Hosra Ancient Ruins. Something feels different. I'm on. Enlightenment one day. Master, why do I hear your voice? Please try again. What you mean? I didn't do nothing. Child, how did it end up on the ground here? It ended up on the ground because someone put it there. It's just so you would pick it up. Two pillars. Oh my god. And luminous energies. Could it mean my sister and I must work together? Stand on your thing, dude. I'll be condescending, dickhead. I do that every time. It's the other fucking way. That seventy eighth move. You want to. Why can't I be 
got you. You can't hear that wrong sound. Your fan has returned. Oh, you know what's going on. Now, let's make that. I have to equip the cannon soul or cannon foxtails, whatever. And then awakening. Make sure we do all these. Okay, and then we can talk to him. All right, so that's all done. Use this, and then we will um, we'll wait on that, actually. We will equip that guy. All right, so now we need to pry ring. Season weekly, try main weapon, try armor. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do the try weapons and the try armor. Because now we have a way to do that with these. Skip, boom. And that, of course, I believe consumes durability. Yeah, 20 durability, which ain't no big deal. Okay. Just like that, easy peasy. And then Okay, so prior ring and we do have a hundred or so we can do that real quick too. So, we want to run right straight back to Heidel uh, Blacksmith, which is over here. Get that done real quick, and then we can... We'll get our gear as high as we can, and then we're going to head over to Polly's. And we're going to grind Polly's until we are 59. 
And then we are going to quest for 60. Simply because 59 to 60 is a little bit faster solo than it is to grind somewhere like trees. Because trees has a bit of a level requirement. 59 you don't do a lot there, but 60 you do a significant amount of more damage. So it is not it's not really advisable to go there until you're 60 and have basically full pin Tavala. Which we are not going to have. But you don't need full pin Tavala to go to Police. And you don't need full pin Tavala to quest to 60. Okay, so we need a prime ring, which we are going to go ahead and just buy two and <laughs> hope for the best. See if they sm slam together. Just bare naked. And they did. Okay, good deal. Good deal. So that gives us another 200 ore. Um, so, uh, the best way to get some more AP, the easiest way, not really easiest way, I guess, but a good way is to just slam your weapons and then if you have the quest, um, did I leave those? Oh, okay. If you have the quest here, like if this is not your first character and you've already done the main story quest and you've gotten the quest gear, it will surpass Tuvala until around Tet. So you're not going to get much better than that. The weapons, on the other hand, are an area where you can quickly gain a, quite a bit of levels, or quite a bit of um, quite a bit of AP. That is way too high. I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. Really, 30 is kind of too low, but yeah, see, 30 is is where we kind of really want to be, but that's okay. Don't screw me. I gotta go uh, repair. And only repair as much as you have to because when you get converted over to a standard player, um, you will just have fully repaired shit, so. Um... What the fuck? Orcs are great. Make iron by breaking iron. Where's my weapon? That's right there. Why did it not repair? What do you mean? Oh, I guess I oh I didn't repair the right thing. <laughs> I'm dumb. Sorry. Give me a second. <laughs> Here goes me telling you not to repair a bunch of shit you don't need to, and then that's a, the very first thing I do. <laughs> Alright, so this should... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, and then really what you want is like 40, but I don't have it. So, unfortunately... Yeah, this is just going to take a minute.
All right, so in order, in an effort to save those, we're going to go ahead and just stack this um, with a 30 and just use up some of these that we have. And this should go. Okay, it's just going to call me a liar. Cool beans. All right, go now. Thank you. All right. And then last one, we're going to go ahead and just throw, I don't want to throw a 60 in there. God, don't do this. I'm just trying to rush, but don't, don't do this. That's, that's a waste right there. 100% a waste. Don't do that. If you got more skilled and heating ore, you can get better results. I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as I can. Don't waste your stacks on that. Or do. I mean, they're your stacks, so you do with them, with, with them as you please. Don't let me tell you not to. Don't let anybody tell you not to. It's your shit, not theirs. Okay. So. Oh. The Valen necklace, I think, is the smartest thing to go for first. I think, but do whatever the season pass requires. So, uh, let's see, duo necklace. Okay, so it requires a duo necklace, and that's it. So it is the smartest thing to go with. So we're going to go ahead and just buy a crap ton of necklaces. So 19 necklaces. Are we out of inventory space? We are. Okay, so we can just sell our junk. And that opened up a couple spots. I like to do the 20, 30, 40, 50 route. Technically, it's more like 20, 30, 50, 60, but that's kind of what I like to do with enhancing these. I hardly ever do this, but it is smart too because it's already a relatively high number. So in order for us to get our credit, once you get it to duo, just go ahead right away and equip it. That way you get your credit. And then after that, you can keep slamming it. And hopefully it goes. So here we will do 30. No, thank you. Anything 70 and higher is good. Uh, and normally I would do like a 40 here or 50 here, but I don't have it. I don't know how they expect you to slam this stuff without having adequate stacks. Yes, I know, it's high. And then this is where I would normally use a 60. And then we got the pin. Good, good shit. All right. So that's a big jump in, in uh, AP. That's a six, a six AP jump. That takes us well into the next bracket. Uh, and then belt, we usually save uh, the belt at Tet. And use our stone, our free pin accessory stone on that. Uh, but for now, we're going to melt all these necklaces back down. Is that egg? What is it? Mashed potatoes? You put mashed potatoes in a wrap? Just mashed potatoes? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Did you put any sauces or anything in it? <laughs> what the fuck is the point of the wrap then? No.
Uh, let's see. So we need Tet Mainham, which we got, and Tet Armor, which we haven't gotten. So we need to tap that real quick. Okay. So let's get this to Tet. Hopefully it only takes one stack. <laughs> Why do I not have any 40s? I really don't have any 40s. That is super unfortunate. Uh, we're just going to have to run with a, with a 30. And clearly it's going to fail, because 30 is too low. Oh, nice. Okay. Good deal. Okay, that's it. Everything else is just extra. So we'll go ahead and do our belt to tet, hopefully, maybe, we'll see. And off to a great start with a fail at 72%. Fantastic. You know how it goes. We'll do a 25. That's a little low. But it went anyway. And then we'll do a 30. And it failed. Of course it did. Twenty, twenty-five, and we'll do this thirty-three, and we got it. Nice. Okay. Cool. Good deal. So now it's the same as the rock heart belt, the quest belt. So it doesn't really matter which one you use at this point, um, but we're gonna go ahead and use that one anyway, and then we're gonna run the rest. Of these stones um, we're gonna probably stop everything at Tet um, let's do a 20 here that seems pretty high and then we'll do a 30 and it failed okay another 20 and that 36, and it failed again. Awesome. Are you fucking kidding? My lord. Okay. And then, oh, did I use that for Tet? I uh, should have used that for Tet. But here we are. <laughs> All right, let's run the gloves. I hate that I only have 60s. It's such a waste. Don't use this many 60s on this stuff. It's not worth it. Okay, okay. Uh, 
All right, 28 is the highest we got right now, so that's fine. Okay. Okay. So now what we'll do is we will use another 60 that we don't have. So we're out of fucking 60s too. Oh my goodness, we're going to use a 30. A 28 or whatever the hell it was. Honestly, I should have been doing this the whole time. But, you know, I'm impatient. Oh my. You freaking what? No, no. Oh wow, now we have 20s. And we're broken. Make it clear. Only the ones following the Lord shall be my customer. Okay. We got this. If we have to, we'll break into our Blackstone stash. Okay, we're going to have to. So let's go into our Blackstone stash. Start using Blackstones. We don't have a whole lot in there. Okay, we'll throw a 30 on there. These are 45. And it went. Okay. I didn't have to waste a 60 on it. That's good. Okay, now. Um, okay, so. We're going to go ahead and just melt these belts. And then we are going to head over to Polly's because we have wasted a lot of time here. Oh, we need to put these back. Just use this. Excuse you. Nope. What's she doing? Mm -hmm. All right, four more. Last thing we want to do, we want to get at least one more AP. 
So we're gonna try to rush these. No, I don't want the thirty one of them fucking things. I want twenty. Uh, we need we need our black stones back. We're gonna try to get this ring to Tet, and that'll give us another AP or two. So we are gonna run a twenty. And then a 30. And it failed. Of course it did. <laughs> so a naked. And it failed. A naked. 20. And a 33. And... I don't want to do a 30, but... You know what? Let's do it. And it failed. <laughs> Naked? 20? Thirty? Yeah, thirty-three. And it failed. Fucking get it. Red. Naked? Twenty? Thirty? And a 34. Ah, oh, who got it? Okay. <laughs> I was like, shit, man. Is this ever going to fucking go? All right. So that took us into the next. It didn't. I thought it was 229. Hmm. Well. That's a bummer. Um... I was sure that that was going to take us into the next bracket. Hang on. Um, 234. Well, that's not good. So we need we need to get to 235 to get to the next bracket. So we would need all of this done. Um So we're done. We are done for now. So we're going to just go ahead and sell all this crap that we don't need, which we don't need these. We don't need that. Um, we don't need any of these. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, and then we can store our horsey in here with the other one. And then store these three. And then we'll just hang on to those. We can open this guy at 57. Repair. That's okay. I don't really need to worry about that. Okay, we're done. So, let's run over to the Magnus, which, if you have done Magnus, you'll be able to just take the Magnus straight over to Camasilvia. If you haven't done the Magnus, or you refuse to use the Magnus for whatever reason, you'll have to run. So, Mm hmm So good luck with that, and I will meet you over there in just a few seconds. And my idea of completing the season is finishing the season pass and pinning everything. After that, it doesn't matter. So like the levels, it doesn't matter to me. I don't have any concern. I don't concern myself with the level that I get this character, just that they complete the season, which is guaranteed you have to hit 60 in order to do that. 
Um, but after that, it doesn't matter to me. For you, you would want to, you know, get your character as high as you can. Get it to 61. Get it to 62 if you can. Hell, even go for 63 if you can. You don't have to leave the the season servers or the season character. You don't have to graduate until you're ready to. That was rather bright. So we are going to go over to the um, weenie cabin. And actually, I don't think I can do the season. Oh, I can. Since I graduated, it took that away, so I can still do it again. Okay. That is good. That is good. What's this? Defeat one black shrine boss with moon order more moon or a weakness. Good lord. And Earth Aura. Okay. We should do that. We should do that after we're done with the season. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna go to Weenie Cabin to grab the weekly, and then we're gonna hit up Polly's. And at Polly's we're gonna do pretty much all of the kill quests except for one. Uh, generally we will do that last kill quest somewhere like Mansions or over at Navarne Steps so that we can get more of the Tavala Ore while we're there because we're going to need it. Just, it is what it is. We're going to need it. We're not going to, we're not going to succeed our pin accessories very often. So having as much ore as we can will, will help with that. So get it where you can get it. All right, let's grab this quest from her. New mushroom dish, and that will give us 90 ore. Um, and then we're gonna head over to this mountain here to Borgo, and we're gonna park our horse there. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own places that they go. I just, I like to park at Borgo and then kind of run up the mountain to the g normal location that I grind at, which I recommend it because it's very, very good. Um, however, it is one of the more popular spots, so it does get kind of crowded. What in the world? Just trying to figure out which skills I have so far. I might even actually switch over back to succession for this. Because she's not going to be nearly as fast as she normally is.
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just swap back over to Succession. So in order to do that, we're going to have to go to Battle Arena. So let's do that real quick. Okay, can we just go? Golly. What the fuck was that? Why'd you just kick that? And she's not allowed to have her feet. She's not allowed to have her feet on the floor. All right, so let's go ahead and switch back over to Succession. Make sure we have all of our points in here. I'm going to go ahead and skip this song because I'm not feeling it. And, yep, looks like all of our stuff is good. And then we'll go ahead and do our add-ons too while we're here. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember them. I'm just gonna just gonna pick. Do you want to be part of a bigger world? Then travel. There's no reason to hesitate or think twice. Say what? Oh yeah, why? <laughs> Using people. Oops, shit. No. Where the heck is that SLMB? There it is. And then straight RMB. Or shift RMB. All right, okay. We'll do crit damage and back attack damage. Okay, that's good for now. Why are you so sad? Go to bed. So go to bed. Now we turn on our buffies.
Someone. You want you. Okay. So we really actually kind of want to go quickly and turn this in because the next one we're going to have to do is the 100 monsters. And the longer we sit here and do this, the, you know, we could have potentially had completed that. So we're going to go quickly turn this in and then head back. Killing shit on the way. For fuck's sakes. We're just going to slide on down this mountain. Because why not? Okay, so we got that one done, this one done, this one done. So now we got to do a hundred monsters and then where are we actually? 
So 100 monsters, 57 we're at. 200 monsters, Tet weapon we're done. Tet armor we're done. 58. Okay, so 58 is our next our next milestone. The one that I wanted to get you. Did she literally just buy a Razor product? I have a fucking affiliate code. Oh my god. A fucking <laughs> Razor partner and our friends just buy shit without even consulting me. I don't know. Probably not. She don't ever come to my stream. She does every once in a while, of course, but she hasn't been here in a while, I'm sure. She hasn't been here since I became one. At least I'm fairly certain. Yep. Gives a discount and pays me. Matter of fact, my code or my link is right here. We can pull it up. Hang on. A F F I L I A T E.
I gotta find my thing. she uses. What? make uh, a favorite left-handed mouse. Mm -hmm. You don't want Bluetooth anyway. It's like Yeah. Apparently I only have access to the wired V2 or the wireless non-kitty edition.
You're not talking. Hello? Hi. Open the mail one. Okay. Was it a box? You want to? Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. Over where are you? What are you going to the mailbox for? A what? A gaming shirt? I mean, I I didn't order anything. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we finished this, we got this, and now we need to do 200 monsters. I should have, should have um, turned that in earlier, but I'm being distracted by a lot of stuff right now, so I'm trying to push through and not waste too much time, but got a lot going on around me, so... Apparently I got some mail from something. I said it feels like a t-shirt. I don't know. Okay, got that one done. Next is 58. 
I forgot what this is for. Hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, we can open that. Oh, we gotta talk Black Spirit. Oops.
<laughs> Grinding gear games, that's Path of Exile. Did they send me? They sent me a shirt. Okay. Yeah. Did you request anything? I might have said something in passing on, like, stream. <laughs> like, oh, I like that shirt. I want that shirt. Huh. Cool. So, Grinding Gear sent me a shirt. Um. Path of Exile shirt that, yep, you for sure can't see. What in the world? Anyway, it's a Path of Exile shirt. It's cool. Oh, what if I put it against him? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Man, they didn't send anything else. Not a packing slip, not a letter, not nothing. So, I'll wear that later. Don't you fucking even think about stealing that shirt. I will punch you in the face. No. <laughs> it's my shirt. What's up, Razor? Where's my shirt? Can't even give you an affiliate a shirt. What's up, NordVPN? Where's my shirt? Yeah. I'm assuming based on my account. My account has my address on it. Alright, there's 58. So we got our first pin accessory. Too bad it's not... The earring. I guess we should have done that one first, but whatever. That's a feather, honey. Oh, the fuck that missed. Now we got 27 minutes 
left on our scrolls. Hopefully we get to 59 by then. I don't think it's going to happen, but maybe. If we ever get a divorce, all of the cats are going outside, so you better take the ones you want. Yeah, and I can count on one hand how many times your daughter's actually played with him. Or acknowledged his existence. Alright, there's our 300 monsters. And our guaranteed pin. like a razor shirt. Just a simple black one with the the green razor logo would be cool. one that you commented on? The shirt that you commented on? Commented one? Ah, shit, I don't remember, honey. It was during one of Zizarin's videos. So what do we got? We've got 22 minutes left on scrolls. 
I'm not entirely sure what that noise was. I know it was a follow, but it didn't tell me who it was. Ariel Phillips, thanks for the follow. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong direction. I'm doing well, how are you? <laughs> nah. It's the name. That's good. We are speed rushing the season for the second time. Tell you something about this game. This is Black Desert. It is a action based MMO from Korea, developed by and published by Perlobus. has like 27, 27 or 28 classes to choose from and each class has two different specializations or what we call awakening and succession except for two. Two do not have both. The Shy has the talent and the Archer has a combination of both. It doesn't necessarily have a succession spec. It has basic attacks and awakening spec. It's all you can be. And then... Um, there's a lot to this game. There's combat, there's bosses, there's world bosses, there's life skilling, there's... Uh, what we call, um, not necessarily gauntlet bosses, but they are, that's basically what they are. You can fight a few different kinds of bosses on the Land of Morning Light, <clears throat> which is the newest area. Newest, kind of newest, it's not really the newest, but newest storyline area, main story quest area. I'm new to Tokaf P. I have no idea what that is. What is that? Tell me something about that. There's just a, a lot to to this game. Um, there's not only like, you know, combat, PvE, PvP, and life skills, like gathering and cooking and alchemy and things of that nature, but there's also a gigantic map that you can utilize and har like hire workers and create worker empires that will harvest nodes for you and send the, all of the materials back to your storage. There's sailing and sailing... It includes things like bartering, where you can build giant ships and trade 
bartering materials back and forth between different areas, and there's just, there's so much you can do in this game. Most people will pick, like, one or two things that they really enjoy doing and kind of stick with it. Some people try to do everything, and it kind of burns them out, because there's a lot, a lot, a lot to do. And not a single one, single sane person can do everything, unless they spend a very long time doing it. Oh, you're new to Twitch. Well, welcome to Twitch. So that was almost 10 minutes. We've got uh, 5 minutes, 4 minutes left before it's 10 minutes. And that was... Not a lot. I'm not going to hit 59 before the scroll runs out, unfortunately. Um, but what we can do is we can grab this. And then we can turn this off, because we're not going to be able to use it anyway. And just get there a little bit slower, that's all. Actually, if you work, the work in the company is decreasing, so you are free most of the time. Are you talking about working from home? Yeah, and that frees up some time, for sure. Um, but it's that's not really kind of what I meant. What I meant was that you have to spend a lot of time trying to do everything and maximize the potential of everything, otherwise you're just going to kind of be mediocre at everything, which isn't good. Being mediocre at everything is way worse than being great at one thing or two things. Being great at bartering can earn you a lot of money. Being mediocre at bartering will cost you a lot of money. And that kind of goes for everything, really. I, in my opinion, and how I like to play the game, is I generally just do PvE combat stuff. Because it's guaranteed to make you money. Is this ever gonna- okay, I guess it's not gonna let me open this. Hello? Hello? There we go. It's very weird. Um... Yeah, like I said, being bad at everything is is way worse than being good at something. One or two things. But, of course, you have to experience everything to decide whether it's something you want to do. And a lot of professions, a lot of life skills kind of synergize with each other. So doing more than one of those is good. Gathering, and specifically gathering, is good for a lot of different um, life-skilling professions. So being able to gather your own stuff will always ensure that you make a greater profit, but also you're limiting the amount of volume that you can produce because you're, you're spending a lot of time gathering. So it's a balancing act. Okay, so we gained 25% in 10 minutes, so... No. We gained 35% in 10 minutes. So we'll be pretty close. It's 
So we won't have to suffer too much without scrolls. Coming up on the three hour mark. And they're gone. <laughs> Oops. Moved way too early for that one. So once we are done with 58 here, we'll probably go ahead and just do the 400 monsters here, get it out of the way. I have no idea where that's going.
Oh, we got five minutes and only 10% left. Oh, we got slowed. Are we going to be able to do it? Before the scroll runs out? I think we might be able to. If we keep on going. Don't stop. And there it is. Nice. Two minutes to spare. Now let's level up our skills real quick. Very nice. I'm glad we hit that before the hour was up. Once we get done with these 400, we'll go quest to 60. Yeah. 
All right, 73 to go. Full. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. You know what? Let's just delete these fucking things. We don't need them. Okay. Grab that. And then 60 is our next goal. We'll get out of here and do that. Killing monsters on the way, of course. Always, always, always. You didn't hear it? Because it's loud? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head to Grana. Once we get to Grana, we can sell... Okay. Okay. We can sell everything. Put everything away, and then we can take the Magnus, because we're going to take the Magnus over to Calpheon. And we're going to start up top at Brelin Farm, at the very northern part of Calpheon. And since we are here, we can just sell all of this. It's like that. Cool beans. All right, so we put these in here. God, we got blue seven blues. Good lord. We are weighing heavily in 
blues, I believe. I can find them. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Am I just blind? I'm just blind. Oh, there they are. Yeah, 10 blue. Oh, we got 10 red too. And then we just need six more yellow and we can make 10 of these moon. All right, let's auto move everything over. I didn't think I'd have anything for that. Anything for the, oh, I did. Okay. And then move everything over for here. All right, and then we can talk to the black spirit. And then we grab the last chapter, which is to talk to Fugar. Talk to Fugar. And that ends that part of it. And then we can open these up to get our pieces of shit that we always get, because we never get anything good. Yep. Fantastic pieces of shit. Thank you very much. Alright. And then let's put all this other shit away. There are lots of things that can be bought with money, but wouldn't a nice hot supper be true happiness? Oh, that doesn't go in there, you ding dong. That does, that does, and that does, and that does, that does. This, this, and this. And then we can just sell this. One lapis lazuli and one hammer, all I need to fix anything. Um, just kidding. We don't have anything to sell. Never mind. All right, now we need to pin our belt with our free pin, stone, and boom. Thank you very much. And then oh, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter what we pin with this. Everything has got to get pinned anyway. So it doesn't truly, truly matter. Um, guess we'll just pin the lean hand because that'll give us a pretty all right boost in AP. Eight AP boost. So that'll take us. No, I don't want to use crons. That'll take us to um, the next bracket. So that's good. That's good. Very nice. Very nice. It didn't take it to. No. We need 243, I think. Um, 245. 245. Because we needed 235 before, and we got that. So now we need 245. Oh, well. Um, that is what it is. So what do we got as far as crony boys? Oh, I put the crons in the wrong place. Goddamn hiccups. All right, so we got another hundred. Uh, fuck. Another hundred and twenty of these. God damn it. I guess we didn't put the other ones away. I thought we did. Maybe we did and we just gave it to the other character, I guess. I don't know. I guess that's what happened. Uh, either way, we can put that away. Uh, we can put this away. Yep. Fuck. Goddamn makeups. Uh, we can put that away. We can sell all these. 
All right, let's uh, let's try to get our armor to pin at least, at least, right? Because we got plenty of stones and shit for it. Um, we don't have plenty of stacks. We have eight stacks of sixty. Do we want to do seventy instead? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Boom, got it. Okay. All right, and then let's just take everything off. And then we'll throw the 60 in there and see what happens. And it failed. Of course it did. So we got some 40s. Really wish we had some 50s. Could really use a 50. You are a piece of junk. Okay, so let's use that, smash it, and then smash it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So throw a 60, smash it. Okay, didn't go. It's fine. 40. It went, and it went. Nice. Last piece of armor. Can we get it on the first go? We did get it on the first go. Look at that. All right. So that is armor pinned up and ready to roll. And then we need our weapon to pin. 60 it up. Let's see if we can get it on the first go. We did not. Okay. But we do have another 40. And it didn't go. Okay. Actually, we can just keep that in there. Throw in our guaranteed stones. Smash it. Fucker. Smash it. Fucker. Smash it. And now we gotta repair it. I was hoping that this didn't take that long. Soon you will see how gears are fixed without fire. I almost want to use artists and memories in an effort to save those, but I can say I am also training them. I'm not gonna do that. Alright, come on. Tat it up. Nice. And then pen it up. You fuck. Tat it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That did not go the way I wanted it to, but it went anyway, so who cares? Dixie Poe is the name I received here. Now, we'll do our awakening, and hopefully that goes in one tap. We don't have to piddly piddly around with it. Come on, 60, let's go. Smack it, you dick. We're running out of 40s here. Oh my god, are you kidding? Lapis Lazuli and one hammer, all I need to fix anything. Eaten into our accessory fund. Soon you will see how gears you bitch. Nice, got it. Okay, good deal. Training is needed for everything. I can say I am also. How's our durability? Oof, not very good. But that's all right. All right, we need to do this earring. Sorry, this ring and one earring. 
So let's start with the earring. Because that's going to be the biggest amount of trouble. Alright, we got naked. And then 20. And it failed. That was fast. Naked. 20. 30. We'll do 40. Do shit. 60. I know, it's gonna fail. Oh, it went. Okay. So. We go again. We save one. Yikes. Okay, we need to break into our, our uh, armor. Our blackstones. Or whatever blackstones we might have. I think it's armor. Yeah, it's armor. Um, what are we doing? Let's just fucking go. Why, why are we piddling around? Let's just fucking go. Because it fucking failed, that's why. You stupid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. You kidding. Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? That's like six fucking fails on accessories this season. Like, a pen. At, like, 70%. I don't fucking get it. I don't... I don't... I don't understand the logic. It doesn't compute. Does not fucking compute. just wasting my fucking 60s. I have one left. Fucking go, please. Thank you. Jesus. I have one fucking accessory left. Which means I'm gonna have to naked tap this ring and hope it fucking goes. Lapis Lazuli and one hammer are all I need to fix anything. No, what the fuck am I doing? Chet. All right. Well, we have one shot at this, and then if we don't get it, we're back to fucking quest armor or quest uh, accessories. Seventy-two percent. Yes. Okay. We don't have to worry about it. I fucking wasted an eighty stack on it, but you know what? <laughs> it is what it is. We're done. We are done with. The enhancing. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. I can say I am also training then. Alright, so you can clearly go that route, the same route that I just went, and it will work, but you are wasting a shit ton of stuff. Like, my stacks are nothing now. I have, like, nothing anymore. I mean, I have a couple 70s, but that's, like, that's it. So... If it's worth it to you, do it. If it's not, then obviously that, you know, then clearly that's, you know, don't do it. But if it's your first set, then fuck it. Go for it. Because that's your, that's your best stuff. You know, it's worth it. This is all like alt gear and shit for me. So it, it doesn't really matter. And I shouldn't be wasting it on that. But I don't care. 
I don't care. All right, so we're at three and a half hours now, and we only need to hit one more level. So I'm pretty sure we're going to beat our last time. Do you remember what I said my last time was? Five and a half hours. So if we can get this done in a you know reasonable amount of time, we will for sure beat our time. So we're going to go to the Abyssal Well, and we're going to head over to Calpion. And jump on in, head over to Calpion. All right, well, actually, before we do that, I'm going to pause the time here, and I'm going to go get a drink. Uh, and do a couple of things real quick, and I'll be back probably in about five minutes. So, pausing here, I will be back shortly.
Uh -huh. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I'll lead by example. All right, so let's get to getting. Oh, play button. Play, play. All right. <clears throat> Alfie on. Got my Path of Exile shirt on now. My Path of Exile shirt. I know. I'm just drilling it. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, so we are heading up here to Brelin Farm. Yeah. And make sure I have my... Yep, okay, Changatome. Make sure you've done your Changatome quest before you start this part, because if you don't, you're going to be missing out on a lot of XP from these quests. Thanks. Okay. Okay, really? It's like they purposefully put things places knowing that people are going to get caught there. It's really fucking frustrating. Eyeball it just to did All right, so once they're here, <clears throat> we're going to take this quest right here. And then if you've already done some of these, some of these will auto-complete, but if they haven't been done and they don't auto-complete for you, just complete what they say. And then we're going to grab this one here. Okay, and then we're going to talk to... CC, nope, not yet, okay. Then we're gonna go up here to this top part. And we're gonna talk to this lady over here. I don't know why we went up there. We didn't need to. Talk, oh, shoot. We're gonna talk to this lady here. Eventually. Grab that quest. And then we're gonna take this over to this guy. This is the father we need to talk to. He's going to complete some stuff. If he doesn't auto-complete for you, go finish and do what is being asked. And once you've done that, come down here. Turn this quest in. Grab the next one. And then we're going to do back to reality one. 
And once we've turned it in, we are not going to take back to reality two. And I will reiterate that once we get there. But for this part, we need to pick some grape bushes. And we want grapes and weeds. Don't really care about that Hermy thing. Okay. That's all the grapes and all the weeds we need. So we're going to come back up here. Did we talk to you yet? No, we don't. Okay. And we're going to turn these grapes in this person here. And then we're going to turn around and head this way over to where the tool is. Boom. Are you able to make season characters and getting... Oh. Oh, shit. So a question was asked in Guild whether you were able to continue making characters over and over and creating armor over and over. Uh, the answer to that question is no. Uh, you are allowed to make as many characters as you have season character creation tickets, but you can only have one character at a time. Once you've graduated, it consumes a ticket, and however many tickets you have left is however many characters you can make until they give you more. Uh, this is the part where Back to Reality 2 is the next quest in line, so we are not taking that one. That is a Star's End quest that we don't have the ability to do on this character. Uh, and then once that's done, we're going to grab our horse again. I answered his question before he even fucking asked it. That's kind of funny. I'm not really tapping that hard. It's just the way these keys sound. All right. So now we have to go back over to this woman and give her the goods that we picked. She's not going to have a... Okay, where am I getting lost here? Oh, I got to get the corn. <laughs> Sorry, trying to talk and do this at the same time. So I'll just cut all this out. And then we'll go into... Oh, we got to go back. No, we're in spot. We go into this little silo mill thing place here. Grab the corn from her. <clears throat> and then we take it up to the top. And give it to the lady that we talked to originally. She doesn't have a symbol above her head, but I promise you, this is where you need to be. And then we go back to the other person and turn it in. And then grab the next quest from him. <clears throat> Okay, and then, so from here, what you want to do, if you don't already have one, which I don't at the moment, uh, you're going to want to purchase a uh, fried fish from the market. You only need one. Oops, I just got off my horse. And then you're going to want to find a... Put your knife 
on one of your other characters or if you don't have one you can just buy one from the market make sure it does not have a skill requirement like this one does you must have gathering beginner 10 in order to wear it make sure it does not have that skill requirement sharp butcher knives or standard butcher knives are both fine and then you're going to equip that into your slot hello into your into your slot jesus And then we are going to go down, we are going to, actually, we're going to go do the this quest over here first. We're going to grab this one. This one, you kind of just go over here and talk to the air. <laughs> I know it doesn't, doesn't sound like it makes sense, but you'll see. See, we're going to talk to nothing. This is a nice pasture. And then we go back and turn it back into the same person. And they're going to give us a quest to go talk to a bunch of people. Actually, the next quest is to go to this mill over here and grab the food from this person. And then the next quest is going to be to go feed everybody. And that's when we can start kind of branching off doing other stuff, other quests in the area. <clears throat> this is kind of where a Pegasus would start coming in handy. Um, not really all that big of a deal. Gosh darn it. But it does come in handy at this point because we could just jump off the cliff when we need to. But we're not going to be able to do that. We're just going to have to run down, which is no big deal. So once we've turned it in here, or talk to this guy here, we're going to turn around, grab this quest here, and then we're going to talk to the guy behind him, right here. Oh, maybe, eventually, can I, there we go. And it's going to be three, two, and one. And that's how you complete that one. And just turn it in, and that's it for that. And then we're going to run down this slight hill here. Just kind of at an angle so we don't take too much damage. And then we're going to run out of the way over here. And talk to the air right here. It's easier if you right-click the quest and have the line here, because it kind of gives you a better idea of where to stand. <coughs> Uh, and then we're going to come back at, to here at some point, but not right this second. Um, it'll be in a little bit. So we're going to run back up top. Hello? There we go. And then once we've turned this in, we're going to go talk to the boy tending the sheep. Just lurking for drops, only one monitor on. Huh? What happened? Where's your other monitor? And just turn it into this one. <clears throat> oh, you don't have one. Oh. Okay. That makes more sense. Alright, and then once we finish turning that in there, we're going to head up to this child tending the sheep get that one turned in down here oh 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 we passed it and then this last quest is to talk to black spirit the unfortunate thing is that we are not going to be able to move too much further through this quest line because in order to do so, it has to be nighttime, and it is not nighttime yet, so we will have to 
either spend enough time to where it's night once we get back to this port, or we're just going to have to skip it. Because I'm not going to waste time waiting around till it's dark. But it is getting dark, so hopefully it... Hopefully we get, you know, get to turn it in. Anyway, we're going to come right back down here. In this quest, if you right-click it, it's going to tell you to go to this uh, otter here fishing. You don't want to go to him first. You want to actually turn, go in here, and talk to them first. Not that guy. This guy here. Talk to them first. And this is where you turn in your fish, your fried fish. And then pick up the next quest. And then we're going back up to turn the quest in to CC again. And then this last quest takes us back to Cedric, who I believe is back down here. Yep. Okay. So we're going to, oops, shoot. We are going to run back down here. And this is the last time we're going to run down this hill because we're going to take the other direction the next time we have to come back up here. But once we've turned this in, we're going to keep heading straight down the beach just a little bit. So turn this in, grab the next one, and then we're going to head down the beach a bit. And then we're going to grab this quest here. Do you need supplies? Then and then we're going to grab this quest here. And we're going to turn this one in real quick. So what you do is you talk to this guy here. He's going to say, oh, can you count the arrows for me? And then you press enter. Type slash s to go into general chat, type 922, hit enter, and that completes that quest. That quest is, how many arrows are there? There's 922. There's 922 arrows. Um, and then this one, we talk to the soldiers. This one, you're going to not press R. You have to actually manually click the answer for this one. But these other two, you don't have to. You can just spam R through them. And then the last one. And then turn this in. And then after this, we're going to run down and talk to the woman tending the fish down here. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> talk to her and then turn back around and turn it in. Okay. Fail twice at drift sprinting. Three times at drift sprinting. Okay, cool. We're just going to run... And then the next quest, we're going to go butcher some deer. And this is why you need a butcher knife for this, this part here. And then we just go up into this hill right here. And there's two deer right here. That's generally enough. Sometimes you only need one. Sometimes you need two. This clay, in this case, we need two. No big deal. Okay, that's it for that. Just head back down here and turn it in. Oop, hand over the meat and then turn it in. And then she's going to send us to a, another soldier guy up here. Turn this in through all oh crap. Turn it in through him. Go back to her. A lot of back and forth. Do you need supplies? Then please wait your and then... We're going to head back up this direction. And we're actually going to go now to this Calpheon Northwestern Outpost. And there's going to be a couple of quests here that we can do. Uh, where you are going to eventually be sent back to, oh my goodness, back to Brelin Farm. So we're not going to turn around and go talk to CC yet. We're not, we're not concerned with that yet. Uh, we're going to skip all this for now and head straight over here and talk to the mushroom guy. 
I don't think he's a mushroom guy, but he kind of looks like one. Turn that in, or grab that next quest. We're going to grab this quest here. And he has you talk to these two villagers. It only takes once. And then a third villager is going to be across this bridge, but we're going to turn right here at this cement, this brick part, and then we're going to hop up and then talk to this last guy. And that's done for that quest. Careful not to jump off the bridge. And then we'll turn it in. And he gives us another quest to go talk to a soldier at the end of this little section, but we are going to stop right here and talk to this guy on the stairs. He is going to have some quests that may or may not auto-complete for you. If they don't, go do as he asks, and then come back and finish. Once you've done that, come down here, oh, my goodness, and talk to this guy. Turn the quest in, grab the next one, and then we're going to talk to this guy. Grab this quest, and we're going to come up here to the top of this little podium. Talk to this guy and complete the quest. Grab the next one. Again, some more auto-completes. If you don't have auto-completes, go do them. And then we're going to talk to this guy, but you don't want to take the first option because you'll just dialogue the whole time. You take the second option. And then turn the quest in and grab the next. And then you're going to talk to this guy sitting over here chowing down. <clears throat> then grab the next quest. And he sends you full circle back to the first guy that we talked to, which is this guy here. And then turn the quest in, and that's it for him. And that's pretty much it for this little section here. Except we want to turn in this quest and grab the next one. And he sends you up to the top of this little hill, where we are going to turn the quest in and grab the next one. And grab the next one, and then talk to this pile of crap right here. And then turn around and talk to this dude here. And then you're going to go straight forward up these stairs and stop right here. And there's the turning guy right here. Who is it? Who is it? Some guy. Okay. Now we're going to go all the way up this staircase and turn it in here and grab the next one. And then we're going to go all the way back down to the bottom. You see a what? Uh -huh. Okay. Stop with the failing to drift sprint. Okay, and then once we get back down here, we're going to turn this in. Talk to this person here. Goodness, can I just talk to the right person? And then this one here. And then we turn it in here. And grab the next quest. What the heck was that? Oh, it's the wind. <laughs> Little wind whistle lines or some shit. Okay, and then this takes us right back up to where we were for the last... Okay. For the last... Oh my godness. For the last time. And that's it for... Okay, that's it for this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to run off this cliff, hurt our horse, no big deal, and then we're going to run all the way this way. And this is where we turn in this Broken Star Fragment. It's also where we turn in the Suspicious Farm. But again, it's not night, so this Suspicious Farm, this is basically where we're going to end because we cannot get the next quest because it's not dark. So we are just going to leave that where it is. 
and then we're going to grab or we're going to turn this quest in down here and grab the next one. We're going to talk to some more inanimate objects. This time it's a rock. We'll talk to this rock here. Okay, and then we go back to Reggie. Okay, and then just turn this into Reggie and grab his next quest. And then we're going to go back down here, same direction we came from. And we're going to talk to some more inanimate objects. More more uh, rocks, I guess. Black star debris. Now you can go ahead and just jump down from here, or you can go down a little bit further to where the bridge is, down this way. And this is a little bit easier to climb down. It's a lot less likely to, to damage your horse. So the, the, the trick to this area is don't talk to everything, talk to every other one. So we're going to talk to this one, that counts. We're going to talk to this one, and that counts, and then we're going to talk to the last one, and that counts. Okay, I'm just going to hop off my damn horse again, and that counts. And then we're going to go back to Reggie. <clears throat> but this time, instead of going to Reggie here, we're going to Reggie back at Brelin Farm, and that's where we will turn in with CC. And that's why I said earlier we're not going to turn into CC yet, because it didn't make sense to backpedal when we were just going back that way anyway. Very shortly. Okay, apparently my fat butt can't fit through there. Okay, apparently I can't fit through any of that. Alright, we're good. Again? What for? Already? What the fuck? Did she have it same day delivered? Nice little lag there that caused us to stop sprinting. That's cool. talk to Reggie here and he's gonna have another quest to go to coffee on you can do this if you want to I'm not going to I don't see the benefit in going all the way back down to coffee on but you can if you want we're gonna finish this quest line with CC and now we're gonna head down to Past Ash Forest, you see Ash Forest here, Stars End here, Ash Forest here, and then you're going to see these two nodes next to each other. You're going to go to Archer Guard Post. That is the next stop in our adventure. And as you can see, in a very short amount of time, what was that, 25 minutes or so, uh, we are already at 62% to 60, so it is very quick. It goes by very fast. It's very nice. Now, on the way to Archer Guard Post, we are going to stop at one extra little area that is going to just allow us to complete one additional quest. It's nothing major, it's nothing great, but it is one extra quest that we didn't have access to before. Uh, and it's just another 3%. So, I mean, it's super, super fast, and so there's no reason not to stop and do it. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen that before.
It's not often that I get to say that. Okay, and right around this corner right here is this quest here. So you're just going to grab this quest and then talk to the person right behind it over here. And then just pick whichever one you want. I tend to go for whatever is most expensive. And if it's the same price, I go for what I might use, which in this case is the AP. So we're not going to take this here because that's another Star's End quest and we are not going to do that. So back to Archer Guard Post we go. Okay, can I... Nope, okay. Uh, once we start doing stuff at Archer Guard Post, we are going to be sent to Thetis Habitat. Once we are at Thetis Habitat, we can grind if we need to, which at this point we don't. But if you need to, you can do a little bit more grinding at Thetis, and you will get some more uh, Tuvala enhancing materials for the area quest that's there. Uh, we probably will not do it, but... It is there if you need to. And once we get here to Archer Guard Post, there's only a handful of quests that you can pick up, but each person gives you a, a number of quests to do. So it's not too, too bad. So again, quests... Let me let me let me point this out real quick just in case some of you have been wondering. Boxes like this that have only the little four corners that are yellow like that, those are most likely something like repeatable quests or life skilling quests or things of that nature that have these repeat icons. They do not give you combat XP, so there is no point in doing them for combat XP. If you want to do them, you're the kind of person that really likes to do quests, by all means do them. But in order to level quicker, you can't you can't kind of dilly-dally doing quests that don't give you XPs. Okay, so we grab that quest there, and then we come down here, take a right, and we're going to grab this quest here from this Fata sitting on the logs. And then we are going to grab the quest from the lady that is sitting in here in the tent. We're going to hop off our horse for this. Grab the quest from her. She most likely will not have an emblem above her head saying that she has a quest. But if she does, good. If not, she will have the quest. Just grab it. And come out here and grab the herb from that pile. And then just turn it right back into her. Grab the next quest. And then she's going to have you come down and talk to this little lady here. Turn this in, or dude, I guess, I don't know. And then grab the next one. <laughs> anyway, um, and then that's it for what we're picking up in here. What we need to do now is come out here and we need to kill these flying hummingbird guys. Now, if you're not a caster, this will probably be pretty difficult. It's even difficult if you are a caster. These guys are very hard to hit. The easiest way to combat that, as you can see, I can't hit any of these guys with anything. That one finally got it. Every once in a while they'll pop down like that. That's pretty much a visual glitch almost every time. Try to ignore them if you can't get them. Just go over and find more that are closer to the ground that are easier to get, like this one. I'm a liar. This one is generally pretty easy to get. I can't get them though. My goodness. I don't know why PA decided to make these guys float so high. Oh my goodness. There we go. We got them. Okay. So once you grab those two, turn around and turn it back in to the same person. And there's a reason we're doing this in this order. Because once we turn this in and grab the next quest, that will take us over to the Fetus. And then turn this in here to this lady that's sitting over here. 
Okay, can we stop walking? Perfect. Turn this in, grab the next one. Okay. And then this one is going to have us grab an in, uh, intact lapis lazuli from the stone crabs that are right here. If you just turn in here, there's usually ones right here. These guys are they're a little bit beefier than normal monsters, so keep that in mind. Sometimes you get it in one kill, which is 100% completely lucky. Sometimes you don't. It's been a while since I've done a seasonal. How far in the storyline do you need to go before you can talk to Fugar to get 60 stacks for having try? Um, you don't anymore. You get them through the season pass now. Okay, and anyway, so we can go and turn this in. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And that's going to be it for his line. All right, so now we are going to go down here to the Fetus and kill those bad boys for a while. And then we typically just park up here where this bright, shiny light is. And then, again, here's the area quest. If you want to do that, you can. Um, we are not going to waste time doing that. We are just going to grab the medical kits and roll out. These guys are very easy to kill, though. And they're pretty fun to kill. So stick around and kill them up. It's pretty fun. Okay, that's it for that. I guess my pets are not being fed because I'm a terrible parent currently. <laughs> See how she said I love you? What? Yeah, you. <laughs> what does it say? Now you can talk to your bestie better. A yeah, you. You already know. All right, and then back up to the top to turn this in. And then once we've turned this in, grab the next quest, turn around, and talk to this fire pit thing here. Turn it back around, turn it in. And this will lead us back up to the medical lady. Just grab the next quest, come up over here. And then turn it in. And that's it. Turn it in. Good to go. Now, the next quest is going to have you talk to two towers. The two towers that you want are going to be over here. There's one here, one here, and one here. You want the bottom one and the top one. You can ignore the middle one completely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we talk to this tower eventually. And then we skip the middle one and go straight back to the top one. Yeah. 
and then talk to this tower, and then you turn it into this person here. Crap. Once you've turned it into her, grab another quest, and then turn it in right here. There's a little thingy mean Bobby on the ground. You talk to that, and that completes that. And then this turn-in is going to be over by this little bridge down here. So just path on over to this bridge. It's going to be to the left of the bridge, kind of underneath of a little... I guess it's a cave. I don't, I don't know for sure. But it is to the left of the little bridge. That's all you really need to know. Okay, so here's the little bridge. Take to the left, and there's the turn-in. And that's it for that. So next, we are going to run down we're going to go past Forest Runners, we're going to go past Tooth Fairy Cabin, and we're going to go to Weenie Cabin. The Weenie Cabin. But I was just saying you could put your stickers on both sides of these. Uh oh. We done run out of here at Confi. All better. Man, we went, we ran out mid, mid sprint, mid instant to Excel. Aria Star, don't even think about it. Alright, so once here, just talk to Weenie. Grab this quest. You're gonna go turn around and kill some polys. Some mushrooms. You're gonna be looking for the big flappy ones, like this here. And then... You're also going to look for... Get out of there, please. Yeah. That's it for that. Turn this in. Oh, shit. Okay, turn this in, grab the next one. Kill, kill more mushrooms. I don't know why you can't just kill them all at the same time, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe they're 
Say what? Synapse? No. You should be able to just hook it to Bluetooth. As it is. I mean, you might want to. Just, you know. I don't know if there's anything special with that headset that you can do with Razer Synapse. Not sure. Alright, now we are finished with that. We can go turn it in. Eventually, because we are out of stamina. Let's pick whatever you want, doesn't matter. Okay, and now we're going to go to the Looney Cabin. Like a half an hour now or so since we started. Something like that. We're 82%. I'll have to go back through the time on the VOD and see just how long this took. I don't I don't know for sure if it's been 45 minutes or if it's been an hour or what. I don't I don't know. I feel like we started a little bit after three something hours. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, um talk to this this little wheelbarrow thing. I'm gonna adjust myself because my back is like fucking not nice. Grab the next quest. And then you can run in here and grab the quest from we are from Looney themselves. And then we're gonna go investigate the imp sack. Just hang out on your horse and talk to it and grab the next quest and that's going to take us right back to Weenie. Honey, if you had, if you were going to Google download Razor Synapse, it would probably bring up where you need to go. SY. Alright, again, just turn in and grab whichever one you want. I'm just going to grab the last one, doesn't matter. And then we are going to go head down to the Grocer of Grana. Mm-hmm. Oops. Running in towers. You can just sign in through Google. Yes, you can have a corn dog. Don't go crazy with the condiments, please. Okay, right, talk to this person, turn it in, grab the next one. They will take us over to the flower merchant. Head up here, talk to the flower merchant, they will send us to the cook lady, Luan's, Luan C or something. Yep, Luan C or 
however it's pronounced. And then she is going to have us go kill some... Or talk to Looney, actually. Um, but before we do that, we are going to come down here. We're going to grab this quest across the bridge. Grab this quest from this guy. He is going to have us talk to Mamalies, which is going to be inside of this building here. We just turn around. Jeez. We're just going to not take our horse in there. You have to ask your mom. Um, turn the quest into her. She's going to grab you the next quest. And then she's going to have us go kill some weasels. So let's go kill some weasels. No big diesels. Weasels are right down here. Unfortunately, they don't take enough damage when you're on your horse, so you do have to get off the horse to do it. And then there's generally a couple right up here. Yep, there they are. No. I would just download Razer Synapse and let it download the. It, it'll discover your device and download whatever drivers you need for it. I don't know. Can you plug it in? You probably good. Probably good with just Bluetooth. All right, and then we go back to Mama Lee's. Talk to Mama Lee's. Turn this quest in. We're gonna hop off our horse because we're gonna do some running in here. Okay, grab the next quest, and she's going to have us talk to some princesses, which are going to be up this staircase to the left. The first one's here. Keep straight, and the second one is going to be around this corner. Go straight this way again, and another one will be right around this area here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. And then the last one will be downstairs. To the left, to the left. Right here, we're talking to the bookshelf. And that's it. Turn around, turn it in. Grab the next quest. Upstairs, to the left, to the left. And then there's going to be a little bookshelf thing here. Pile, a stack of books, whatever it is. Turn that in, grab the next one. And then talk to Mama Lee's again. You can just jump off the railing. And then grab this last quest. That's going to take us over to Marindora. Who is going to look at our gem and give us some pretty good monies. Nothing major, nothing, nothing fantastic, but you know, money's money. Okay, we'll just get off our horse, apparently. Turn this in, grab the next quest, which is going to be if you open the first chapter. Get out of it, go into your inventory, right-click on the book, and talk to her again. Click the bottom section, turn the quest in, grab the next one. And then she's going to have us go talk to Kara, or Kara, or however you pronounce it. Who is back up at the top of this cliff? She's going to give us a nice shiny gem. Yeah. 
Luna is a truly shining Raise this, please. Thank you very much. And then make sure you grab the most expensive one, which is going to be this Lapis Lazuli. Everything else is kind of cheap. And that, my friends, is level 60. And if we look here, that's going to be level 60. And then we need to go kill 500 monsters. So let's go do that real quick. And to do that, we're just going to head right back down to Polly's. Last time I did this, I finished it over at the Heather Wolves, and it did not go as quickly as I like. So we're going to head to the Polly's Forest and get it done that way. But we now have an additional pen earring that we can't equip until we get off the fuck off the horse. Boom. So if we look, we are fully pinned. Full pen. We are level 60 now. And we are just about done. The only thing we have left to do is kill 500 monsters. Now, if you were to keep going and continue on questing to get to 61, you can take that quest that we just did and turn it in. And then once you're done with that, you would go talk to Looney. After talking to Looney, you would want to go down to Old Wisdom Tree and grab all the quests in Old Wisdom Tree. And you're basically, you would make an arc, right? So you would go from Grana to Old Wisdom Tree. There's your arc right here. Old Wisdom Tree. Then from Old Wisdom Tree, you would go over, you can go to Caldeal Forest. Um, you can go to Lemuria Guard Post. You can even go up here to v, uh, v Ferretta Hamlet. I would ignore it, uh, the Antanas Pond. There's nothing there. Uh, once you're done with that, you can go right here to the Ahib Conflict Zone. Go from here down to Marcha Outpost. Go from Marcha Outpost to Gaiac Altar. From Gaiac Altar, you can go up here to Shere Khan Necropolis. And then over into the Dregan Duvencroon area, you can go Nightcrow Outpost. Or Nightcrow Post is going to have a shit ton of stuff for you to do there. Um, Blood Wolf Settlement is okay. You can do the one, I think there's one or two quests there that you can do, but you'll get those while you're doing Nightcrow Post anyway. Uh, and then you'll want to come up here to Shira Ruins. You'll grab the ones that are at the Node Manager, and you'll also grab the ones here at the Forgotten Gateway. I'm sorry, not here. Here. You're going to go over here and talk to Tamalana, and she'll have some for you to do there. And that will pretty much get you to 61. It doesn't take much, and it doesn't take long. So if your goal is to get to 61, then follow that that path and just do every quest that you can find in those areas to get there. I am not concerned with getting to 61 because both this uh, character and the last character that I made are both getting deleted anyway. I'm strictly doing this for gear, for the alts, and for money, and for things like that. So I have... I have no interest in getting them to 61. So we're just going to take probably another 10 minutes or so to get these 500 done. And we will be well under 5 hours for completed. We are going to head up to our normal spot, though, because I don't really like this area. And since it's nighttime now, you could go up to the area northwest of Brelin Farm and continue on that quest line that you weren't able to do because it wasn't dark. Uh, if it wasn't dark when you were there. Since it's dark now.
Oh, as a matter of fact, we need to finish leveling our skills. What am I doing? At least then it'll do some more deeps. Okay. Does that come with a mic? Like a boom mic? It's built into the round part? Uh oh. Well hopefully it sounds better. <clears throat> 50 more mobs and we are done. That's it. Season complete. Four hours, 34 minutes. Very nice. Very nice.